Motherfucker! Alright, so what I got a vape on now? Dude, I don't understand why you decided okay. it's okay to start playing guitar, like, right before we get ready to start. It gets the blood pumping. I think you should sit down with a note and, and a piece of paper and a pen and start writing down the products you're going to be vaping and actually say the real names tonight instead of vaping on everything the whatchamacallit. Do you, ever, <laughs> do you ever stroke your penis a little before you pull it out so it looks like plumper? Yeah, I used to do that when I went to Bally's Total Fitness back in the day. They used to have those big fucking open, like, meat market changing room yeah. shower areas. Kind of the same thing. I'm just plumping myself up. Dude, if I don't pump myself and prep myself, I look like seriously like a small child. <laughs> Little turtle. And it's even worse now that I'm older because I'm bigger. Just you know? little tiny ass, like a little helmet sticking out with a big ass ball sack. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Anybody got a cigarette? Yes. I just quit smoking last night, actually. I heard about you. I heard you went back to smoking cigarettes again. Is that true? Full flavor Fagan. Full flavor Fagan. <laughs> <laughs> no menthol for him. Nope. Nice. Doing giveaways for coupons tonight. Oh, shit, we're live. We've been live, yeah. Oops. Wow, we've been live for a minute. I don't think people like to sit at the dark screen for a minute. Let's get the show started. Let's do it. I do. No, I don't. This is one of my good shirts, thank you. It's been a while. You know, I have I like to see them sweet little pink nipples. Stop saying it's popcorn, it ain't popcorn. Yep. Buffering and the audio is fucked up. <laughs> Why is this ignition? Oh. Shut the fuck up, Mark. We are live. <clears throat> Welcome everybody. This is the vape team, the fucking great team. It is Thursday night, and we are at 161 for the episode. Yeah, we don't give a buff. Hopefully, there's no buffering problems tonight. We are not on Mark's channel because you know we have a higher oh. standard of excellence. So I'm just putting that out there right now. Speaking of Mark. Good evening, Vape and Fagan. Full flavor Fagan. It's a name change. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Eternal special guest. Permanent name. Hell yeah. Name change? Yep. You changing the YouTube name too? I'm actually changing my legal name too. Nice. Yeah, so Mark, uh, speaking of the good shirt, um, the Adidas shirt and the camo hunting hat, that's the good stuff? Yes, this is my good hat. Is that what you wear to church on Sunday? or? Yes. Church, funerals, weddings, bar mitzvahs, you name it. Nice. I, I, I heard you actually fuck work bar mitzvahs. Is that true or is that false? That is false. Okay. Speaking of somebody that does work bar mitzvahs, <laughs> the man with the master plan, <laughs> the Greek god of modern vaping, Mr. Matchy Matchy, the match sick man, Mikey motherfucking vapes. Good evening, Greg. What are you, hotboxing over there, Mike? Hashtag Corona Crew. <laughs> we should have like just a hashtag section of the show where everybody just hashtags everything. Let's just talk, the... let's talk the whole show at hashtags. All right, well, hashtag it's time for this. It's like, hashtag what's this? All right, Mark, go ahead. That's the time when you usually interrupt and you did it right on cue like always. <laughs> Did a little little face play. All right. Let's hashtag down to the hashtag camera. <laughs> Mike's room looks like Roddy Cash tonight. Whoa. Cloudy as <laughs> I took three hits. Well, this thing is violent. I got a violent setup going on here. What are you doing so violent? Mark. I got to flick that booger off the counter. Are you actually going to show products or are you going to slide that pickle across there? That would be the proton with the... There we go. Hold See? on. Um, Asmodus he, RDA. Don't know the name of it, but he wrote down the names, Mike, but he can't read what he wrote. <laughs> oh my god, he doesn't even know what he's vaping on. Know that it's made by Asmodus, it'll keep you guys interested. This is the Aspire, whatchamacallit, 
<laughs> okay. With the uh, recurve on top, and yes, it's actually usable. I'm vaping it. Mm -hmm. This is the, hold on, don't say it, Mike, because I know it. The, uh, oh, shit, don't say it. It's one letter. Four letters. Oh. Just take us back to the future. What was in the car? Holy shit. Things. The fucking pulsing thing. Yes. Yeah, what was that? It's the pulsing thing. That's what it's called, Mike. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Eh, 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 eh. The flex. The, the flux. flux. The flux. There we go. What tank is that? Uh, the flux tank, I guess. <laughs> uh, Aegis Legend. I think that is the Aquitus. There we go. We got the DNA 200 with the, I think that is the intake. Not sure I reviewed it today. And this is, I think, the Mach 1 with the, I think, Mach 1 RDA. Juices. Mmm. Gonna pull a mic. Cloud Chemist. The, uh, whatchamacallit? Here we go again. Some more whatchamacallit. Some extra whatchamacallit. I like the way, I actually prefer doing it that way. There we go. That's the juice I'm vaping on. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Jesus. Take it away, TVC. Who's Jesus? Our engineer? Yes, audio engineer. Wow, I didn't even know we had him. Anyway, hey everybody, welcome to the show. Uh, I'm not going to dive down tonight because, I don't know, I just don't feel like it. I'm going to leave that for Mike and Mark. Uh, this evening I am vaping on no battery, no juice, never even turned on before. This is <laughs> this is the Watofo Flux, and uh, I have no idea about anything other than I think this red is pretty fucking sweet, and it feels amazing. So... Yeah, this is the Flux. Maybe I'll fill it up and throw some batteries in it on the show tonight. So it's the Flux and the Flux. I'm also vaping on the Mage 217 with the Mage sub-tank on top. Uh, I can say with 100% certainty, this is the first mod that I've used that I can vape like a day and a half without having any uh, battery changing. I forgot is... to add that too with the drop. Sorry. Yeah. And, and the reason is simple those fucking disappearing batteries that I'm using. Yeah, these little golds, man. Holy shit. Battery life for days. I thought the purple ones were better than the gold ones. No, the wrong? purple ones are better for mechanical devices. Oh, okay. Unregulated yeah. stuff. Higher amperage. All right. Yep. But they're still 30 amps, the golds. They're 4,000 mAh, so they're pretty sweet. Uh, those are the... Uh, what the fuck batteries are they, Mike? The they Samsung. are Samsung 40Ts. Yeah, the 40Ts, yep. I'm also vaping on, I guess this is the new Heracles 325, the Heracles 325 on top of the Proton from Inikin, and this has a new mesh coil that they have for the Heracles on there. Mm. Uh, I also have the Aquitus Boom. There is, there is batteries and builds and all this. This is the Aquitus. There's no cotton in here because we're actually going to show this off tonight, so I'm going to vape coils with juice directly on them. Um, I'm also vaping on the Recurve from Watofo. And Aspire feed link on that nice little setup. And last but not least, as I knock shit over on my desk, boom, there we go. The intake on the old school throwback, the lava box DNA seventy five with juice running down the side from a tank that doesn't leak. Figure wow, that how shit that out. Possible. Uh, it's called filling it up too high at the top and then putting the cap on, <laughs> have the juice come down. Wow. Yeah, I'll make sure I post that on my follow-up video, for Mike, for the... That's a con. So anyway, uh, juices, what I'm vaping on tonight, I got a little bit of this left. This is Vanilla Cupcake from, yes, Custard Man. There we go. I think that's Pillar of Clouds, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Pillar of Clouds. Um, also vaping on some Barely. I'm down to my last little fucking, like a thimble full of, yeah. This is the Chop Shop Bakery. Have you gotten this in yet, Mike? They are shipped this week. Okay, shipped this week, guys. The custard tart, highly recommended. It's fucking delicious. Hit that juice.com. We'll have it soon. And uh, yeah, and I also, during the show, I'm going to try not to make lots of noise, and I'm going to be vaping on my smoke Infinix that I always chew on. Jeez, look at that, how chewed up that Hashtag is. Hashtag chew it, baby. Dude, you're addicted. Hashtag Mike, it's your turn. Wow. Take it away. All right. You're addicted to dick. Look at you double skiing. All right. We're vaping on the Aegis Intake RTA. Uh, juice that I'm vaping on. We have some Berry Blast. Is this Berry Blast? Or Berry Candy, Carnivalia, Enigma. 
vaping on that. We are also vaping on Vicious Ant Spain. Got the recurve on top and liquid from somewhere. Where does liquid come from? I got a liquid. Yeah, that's where it came from. So anyway, I'm vaping on that. Uh, juice I have inside of here. I'm pretty sure I put inside this uh, smoothie. Oh, yeah. That's smoothie. That's some smoothie inside there. We are also vaping on Proton with the uh, Rift Core Duo. Inside of here, we got some Strawberry Delight. Bam. Almost done with that one. Get to retire that. Start off with another juice. What else we vaping on, Mike? This sexy beast right here. Vaping on the Gold SQ. A few doors, recurve gold on there. Yeah, baby. Juice inside here is, I think that's a Acai. Uh -huh. Some Acai berry inside there, original. Also vaping on this, I got the Fury E Phoenix Squonker. And uh, this Nunu right here, uh, what's the name of this RDA? Uh, what's it called again? The what you call it? Uh, what's that say there? Andro Andromeda, 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 from Vaping Chronology, Philippine RDA right there. Interesting RDA. Check this out. How tiny that is. To twenty four. Oh, wow, that's a tiny. Look at the shape. I, it looks similar to something that I'm, I've seen before. Hmm. The Philippine. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Is this a collaboration? It's, nah, it's not mine. But look at the build deck. Hmm. I don't know if you could see it, but it's uh, this is like <laughs> almost like a drop recurve together. This RDA, it's crazy. So yeah, vaping on that juice inside here is some shots, twelve gauge. Vaping on that. I'm also vaping on the flux. Got the flux capacitor, flux RDA, recurve drip tip. And I got the same juice in here that I have in the squonker. I'm also vaping inside here uh, some smoothie, which I showed you guys already, the smoothie. Vaping on that. I'm also vaping on modified. This one here, the Draco Engine 2 on there. I have some, this is a huge buffet tonight, some raspberry custard. And yes, I am vaping on all this stuff. Also vaping on this Nunu. This is a Nunu from Aspire. This one's called the uh, shit. No, it's not called the shit. It's called the shit. <laughs> Fuck me. What's the name of this thing? It's got a weird name. Uh, what gonna call it? It's called the, the Pook Sauce. The Pook Sauce? How do you spell that? The Poop Sauce? Pook Sauce Kit. Pook Sauce. So yeah, this is the Pook Sauce. Uh, pretty nice mod. It's all like a. It's all plastic, polycarbonate plastic. Twenty-one seven hundred, hmm. and I guess they're gonna sell all different doors for it. But yeah, and it comes in the kit, comes with an Aspire 20, uh, twenty-one seven hundred. I'm sorry, I don't know if I said twenty-one. But yeah, twenty-one seven hundred Aspire battery, and this is the new uh, Cleto oh. from Aspire. The new Cleto. What's it called? The Cleto. Um, it's called the Cleto. Okay. I think that's what it's called. Just the Cleto. Let me see. Pro. That's what it is. Cleto mm. Pro. Yep, vaping on that. And this is a cool feature that it has. Is it going to do it now? No. When the battery comes on, you put it back in, it asks you if you're using a 21700 or an 18650. Now, that is fucking cool. You know, so this way, I guess, for the wattage, because I know with, with the 21700, it does up to 100 watts. I haven't checked to see what it does with an 18650. See, now that is fucking cool. That yeah. feature is really cool. Yeah, so it's pretty nice. The, the tank, this tank, uh, it's using the same like coils like the Cleto. I don't have any Cleto coils to see if it's cross compatible. They look like them, but um, and it's not mesh. It's just regular uh, coils inside there. But it, dude, the vape is so good off it. It's so good, but it's got cons. There's a few cons on here, which we'll talk about during the review on the tank. But the tank vapes fucking great. Yeah, but a nice little mod right here from them. I like this thing. 
So anyway, vaping on that. And um, what do I got in there, Mike? What's in there? I'd love in to here, know. Inside there, we have some strawberry. Some strawberry acai. And that. And for the finale, we are vaping on the Pico Duo Squeeze with the Coral V2 RDA. And uh, inside here, I'm vaping on some of this uh, Venus vanilla custard from, uh, I think this is uh, Paradigm, right? Paradigm stuff here. Out of this world. Yes. And uh, also vaping on some pods. I'm vaping on this right here. I think that's it. That's all the only pot of it. Oh, I almost missed one more thing I'm vaping on. When I was chucking all them clouds. I'm vaping on the uh, Aquitas. On the Banana Slurpee Mechanical Mod. And uh, is that what it's called? Banana Slurpee? Yeah, Banana. -na. What you call it? Juice that I'm vaping on inside here is some Caramel Tart Chop Shop. That's it. I think I covered the whole buffet. Yeah, that's it. Can I ask an important question? No. Yes, Mark, go ahead. Take it away, TVC. What were you doing the whole time, not when you weren't paying attention to Mike? Well, I was paying attention, but at the same time, I was blowing O's. <laughs> Those weren't really O's, are but you, are you planning on getting into like comps or something? Like, what's your what's your goal? What are you working on here? I got my lights set up. I'm going to start doing Instagram <laughs> cloud videos. You going to impress the kids in the neighborhood and stuff, or? Yeah, I'm having a sleepover next week. Nice. It's going to be a jewel party. That's great, Mark. Way to bring that up on this show. Thank you. <laughs> you fucking idiot. All right, Mark, we're gonna sh we're gonna mute you now, and. Uh, you asked. <laughs> so, no, in, in all seriousness, I want to know what you are thinking of your experience with the Equitas. Because as you guys may know or may not know, one of our sponsors for the show is Hellvape. And tonight we're actually going to get Mark's impressions of the Equitas because he has vaped on it for the past two days. So this actually, will be more sorry. thorough than a regular vape and faded review because <laughs> he's had two days to use it. So take it away, Mark. Uh, flavor, really good, actually. Quite shocked. O-rings are a little tight, but I'm assuming they'll break in over time. Uh, I wish it had a juice well. It doesn't. But the flavor on it's so good to the point where I don't care if there's a juice well or not. Building on it's pretty easy. You know, my only question is, like with the drop, you know how you could push, you could have like a shitload of lead hanging down? Yeah. With this one, I've noticed you can't really, there's no room for your leads to go. If your leads hit the bottom and you tighten it down, will it short out? Because I was getting... Uh, shorted atomizer when I first built it. And I wasn't sure if that's what was causing it or what, but I know you got to cut your leads like real short. Yeah. You got to treat it like a post, basically a postless. Like, yeah. Yeah. That way. But the, the flavor and the airflow is amazing on it. Yeah. If ambitions would have sent it to me, I would have actually reviewed it, but <laughs> it's actually really good. Yeah. Quite shocked. Yeah. So basically you have like the four posts right in the center. And then you just drop your coils right in from the top. And it's fucking pretty easy. Like, you just pre-cut them. There's marks wicked up. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the claims to fame for this is this top that they have here that you can actually flip it. So it has, like, an inner barrel. And the inner barrel doesn't come out. I guess you could push it out if you push really hard, but it doesn't come out. And basically what you do is you pop this off and... You can flip it upside down so you can change the orientation of the airflow. So if you yeah. want to go like from the bottom, you do it this way. And then if you want to go from the top, you flip it over. And there you go. Yeah, I use the airflow on the top so that way I could just drip through the drip tip. And I kind of have a juice well, but I just can't pull the cap off. But aside from no juice well, it's actually, it vapes pretty damn good. I was surprised. Yeah. Good RDA. It's a really good RDA. And uh, I think it looks good. I think it's uh, easy to build on, easy to wick. And having that little juice well matters to certain people, but not others. Um, it depends on what you like. If you like to take your you know, your top off and, and drip directly in there or something like that, you're going to have trouble. But as long as you leave the top on, you can pretty much recklessly just you know squirt your liquid in there and it shouldn't have a problem. Um, lots of color options, obviously, with Hellvape. You know, they come out with a lot from the start. And uh, <clears throat> it's cheap. You know, this is, this is what I hate when this happens. The airflow closes up. 
Yeah. And then it's like trying to get that now open again. Yeah, when I when I first put it ask. together, I'm like, how the fuck do I open the airflow? And I eventually figured it out, but not bad. Like if I'm got it on a Mac, I won't do it on the Mac, especially a hybrid, because I don't wanna keep screwing it down. So I gotta like put it on something else. You now and turn that airflow. There we go. Open it up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that these uh, these RDAs are available pretty much everywhere. I know Vapor DNA has them, and uh, they've been out for what two months now, maybe two two months, two and a half months, something like that. Mm-hmm. Pretty damn good vape. Yeah, it's got a really good vape. So yeah, there's no shortage of awesome RDAs on the market. I'll tell you that right now. A lot of really good ones. Is that a, um? Do you know if that's ceramic or if that's peak in the center? I'm assuming it's peak. That little think, block. In the center? I think it's peak. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's peak. It's peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. <clears throat> I need to get a drink of water. I feel like I'm parched, dude. I have had the st- most stressful week ever, and I feel like I'm on edge. Like I feel like I, I I'm just like skitzy a little bit, and I've been forgetful all day today, and I don't know what the fuck is going on. This whole flavor ban thing that happened in San Francisco has just filled me with rage to the point that I can't even contain myself anymore. I'm so just, I'm disheartened and, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, the older you get, obviously, you know, you lose some of the innocence and being naive when you're young and you sort of see the world for some of the, I don't know, some of the craziness that, that people do for money and power and control, but tobacco control, man, I just, you know, organizations like Tobacco Free Kids and even like the, the universities and um, the way the federal government uses these groups and the American Heart Association, um, all the different groups that are supposedly fighting for our health and well-being. The fact that they can stand behind something like this, it just and, and they're not only that, but they're fucking celebrating. It's just it hurts. It hurts on a deep level and it makes me want to fight even harder. I don't know about you guys. If you guys are not upset, you need to be because this is just like the start. San well, Francisco starts it. New York is doing it right now. It just passed the committee vote and uh, they're going to be voting on it soon. Illinois, so, I think, is doing it too. Illinois is going to be doing it. But at one at one point, we got the flavor ban, but then Canada, actually, I think they got something good, right? Yeah, Canada actually had a good law that was passed in support of uh, vaping which is a good thing. I'm not really an expert when it comes to Canadian law, but I have gotten some messages. Uh, let me just see. I got a message on my phone before the show started tonight. I think they're, you're able to ship like nicked juice there now, I think. I, I don't know. I don't know the exact... I didn't... It's got to be... It could only be three milligram, and I think it's maybe like... I think it's like 120 mLs at the most. Yeah, or that's gotta be 180, up. something like that. I'm sure there's a few Canadians watching right now. They could tell us exactly on that. Yeah. Ben Harris mentioned to me, he said, Hi, Brian. Did you see uh, Grim Green's vlog today about the new law that passed here in Canada? The U.S. government can learn something from Canada. I'm so happy with this new law. And uh, he said it would be a good topic for the show. I had a crazy day at work. So when I got home, I had to eat dinner and just talk to Amy for a little bit. And I didn't get a chance to watch it. But the good news is, is that there's other countries in the world that are going to I think this is what's going to happen. The more that the U.S. pushes against vaping, the more those like steep decline in smoking rates are going to start to sort of flatten out, and you might even see an uptick in the numbers, and it's going to look horrible. Now, I'm sure they're going to spin it, and they're going to blame this, that, and the other thing. They're never going to take accountability. When they finally accept vaping, they're going to try to take complete credit for it, which is how sneaky and slimy and shitty they are. As soon as they can get their fucking hooks into the financial revenue stream and get the tax money flowing and get the the uh, big farm involvement, they're going to support it and act like they're the saviors of millions of lives and they'll be all on board. Yeah. Basically, a vaping is not considered a tobacco product in Canada. I think that's what someone's saying. That's awesome. 66 milligrams. Uh, some milligrams, uh, mLs, milliliters. Is the maximum. Across the border, yeah. Not bad at all. I don't know where they got 66 from. That is an odd number. Mm-hmm. So it says, but Bill 174 stops vape shops from showing customers flavors, tasting new flavors, and vaping in vape shops. 
there's going to have to be concessions that are made. There's going to have to be sort of a middle ground that you meet with. You're not going to win everything and vaping is going to say, you know what, guys, fuck it. Vaping is going to be an unregulated, free to do whatever you want, however you want it and sell it however you want. There's going to be regulations. There's going to be approvals that you have to get for your product safety. Um, there's also going to be rules for shops and things like that. And, you know, I'm, I don't support all of it, but I understand. But we need to make sure that, that vaping is affordable, available, and there's lots and lots of choices for products and also flavors. That's so important. So important. And if you're not contacting your local representatives to let you know, if you're not sharing with your family, if you're not educating yourself on all these matters, you need to. Because the the only power we really have, besides the money that we're funding for lobbyists, is the power of our vote and the power of our voices and our family's voices. That's it. If we don't do it, trust me, this shit's going to get decimated. And we're going to get moved back 10 years in innovation, 10 years in product availability, and it's going to really suck. And the black market's going to blow up. Mark will be involved in that, I'm sure. I am going to be heavy in the black market. Yep. They're call me Whitestone. That's going to be my nickname in the black market. Uh, Brian, any news on Drop Dead? Yes. Uh, well, as you all know, and I'm, we're going to update everybody on this show in the future. Uh, Talk about Heathen, too. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. So apparently, and I don't have much information, I have been in contact with uh, Vaping Heathen, a.k.a. Billy, uh, through messages, and he's having a problem with his YouTube channel. So you'll notice if you go to Heathen's uh, YouTube channel, uh, it's been down. It's not, not there. It's there, but it's just been not – none of the information, none of the videos are there. So he's looking into fixing that right now. Uh, it's, hopefully he gets that, that's, that remedied, and if not, we're going to support him and build him back up again if we need to. Whatever needs to be done, we'll do it. Um, the second thing is the drop dead. So the drop dead – is pretty much completely finished so it's going to be going into production very shortly and you'll hear about it first right here on this this channel we're going to take a look at it everybody's going to have it and uh, i'll let you know what we think about it nice yep and also you know not to, to talk uh, <laughs> it's sort of like mike with all the new products coming out it's like everything sort of happens all at once for some reason i tried to space things out but like little bumps in the road happen and changes happen and everything sort of gets pushed back and all of a sudden everything comes out all at once and you can't stop the company from releasing it. You can't say, well, you know what? I decided to do another project with another company and uh, you're going to have to wait. It doesn't work that way. When they're ready to roll, it's ready to roll and uh, you just have to roll with it. So, yep. How about the drop, drop solo? Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Hey, the drop solo. on it though? Uh, news on it is that's also finished. Uh, the boxes, the interior components, everything's done, and uh, it, that's in production also. So that'll be <laughs> another so at the same time. Is the drop dead a single coil or dual coil? It's going to be both. Oh, okay. Yeah, basically the way the drop dead is, and I, I, I sort of want to wait to talk about everything. Show until the goddamn it, build deck. It's not a secret. It's a, If you love the drop, right, and you also love the dead rabbit, it's basically the best of both in one RDA. But it doesn't replace the drop and it doesn't replace the dead rabbit. I think they both are strong on their own without this. This is sort of like good things from both of them put together. It's not going to be like, oh my god, I've never seen anything like that before in the world. During the uh, unveiling video, I'll walk you guys through the process that Billy and I went through because we did have an innovative idea for the build deck. And uh, I'll share about what happened, why, what, and how, and all that, and all the drama that's involved with you know designing something and working with manufacturers and how fast the market moves yep. it's fucking scary uh, actually geek vape is saying drop solo is releasing this month yep there Check we go it. so this geek month vape. it's getting sent out to reviewers awesome drop right. solo. Uh, people asking about the squonker for me uh three weeks i will have a video up yeah somebody said it's called the equitas it's not even called the equitas with the equitas you're limited in your build space okay so the build acts harder in my opinion than the drop because you actually have the inability to put your coils in and clip them from the bottom. The Plus other thing is the posts are very much close together, so you don't have that space inside the juice well. You don't even have a juice well, but uh, the drop dead is going to have a deep juice well. It's going to have all the space for putting multiple coils in there or putting vertical coils in there or putting horizontals or stacked or however you want to do it. And uh, so it'll be very different than the Plus Aquitus the, in that The respect. Aquitus has no locking mechanism. Like if you're going to fuck with the airflow, your uh, that's the one thing about it is it doesn't have a lot so when i let's say i go to adjust airflow on this then you go to unscrew the rda it's your airflow is just spinning around your build that gets stuck 
So that's yeah. that's Aquatus. Yeah, but um, it also with the Aquatus uh, you can flip, do that. You can flip the airflow on the Aquatus, and we're not doing the flip thing. Right. So there's pros and cons to every RDA. Some of their strengths, yeah. you know, you got to find what you like. Exactly. That's the you way it works. Something, something when it's different. Um, exactly. It's definitely different. And also, it's going to be called the drop dead because the drop in the dead rabbit started it all. So, yep. obviously, it's going to be standalone for itself. Yep. Equitas. We, we know what it's... Aquitas. We say Aquitas because he calls it the Aquitas. 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 Yeah. <laughs> That's what Ambitions calls it. Aquitas. What is an Aquitas, anyways? Or a... Aquitas. Aquitas. What the fuck is that? What does it mean? Anybody know? Is there a definition or a meaning? I think it's I think it's Latin, isn't it? I don't know. We could, I'm sure Mark Google it. You don't pay attention anyway, so hit that up. Ah, uh, I that's I can barely spell it. Why does it look like I'm a glazed donut? I swear to God, it's like I'm a sweaty fuck. I look greasy, man. Like I work at a pizza shop and I'm fucking not showering. <laughs> the fuck? You gotta powder up probably before. Is the... that what you do, Mark? You powder? Yeah. I'm naturally uh, matte finished. His wife has makeups from donation from Bryce Vapes. I think this is second donation. Oh, one year ago today. Today's his vape anniversary. Congratulations, Congrats, brother Bryce. Bryce. Very nice. Uh, Lawless vapor. Yeah, if, if you have an RDA design, keep it under wraps. Do not send it to people. Okay. First of all, most of the reviewers are working on their own projects, so they don't even want to see other people's designs because they don't want it to influence them. And the other thing is, you need to reach out to manufacturers, share you have an idea. Hopefully, they'll meet with you, and you risk having them steal it. So you got to be very careful. Yep. Uh, I don't want. That's another thing. Please, I have people always. Met, I don't even open emails. You know what I'm saying? If they have pictures or whatever, I erase the email right away. I don't want nobody sending me designs and stuff like that. And I don't want to know anybody's ideas. Please don't send me emails. A good idea is if you have a really good idea, rather than trying to put out the atomizer like under your name, just sell the idea to a company. Yeah, like work out that. some kind of deal where you just sell the idea. Yeah, but that's the whole thing with a lot of these companies. Do you trust them? You'll tell them, well, here's my idea. And I'm selling it. Oh, we don't like it. And then they go, they steal your idea. The thing so, is, you have to find a way around it, like to where they, you know, it's kind of hard to, yeah, it'd be hard to do. Yeah, it's it's messed up. Hold on, I'm vaping on this flex for the first flux, the flux. If, if anyone needs to be represented, just contact me. I'll be happy to do it for 25%. Thank you. Yo, this fucking airflow in this flux sub tank or whatever is in here. So good. Yeah, I do. I was <laughs> loving this tank, man. Oh my god, the, mesh dude, the coil drip was tip, awesome. The way it feels on the top, everything about I this actually thing. Changed. Is... I took the drips of on through the recurve drips of on there. Mm. Yeah, banging. So good. Really, really good. It is. Really... You know what I got today? And I'm only on like the first pulls when you put a fresh coil in. Oh, it gets even better, man. Mesh is by far the future and the savior for sub tanks. There's no question about it. Mesh is the shit for sub tanks, and it's going to bring in the second generation of everything. Yep. Yeah, I'm telling you, you think mesh is good with sub ohm tanks? If they got to put it back in the rebuildable atomizers, it'll bring a whole new light to what? What are you yeah. talking about? You, I've seen you almost die from hitting a, a mesh uh, coil in a in a rebuildable. No, but not as a not as a uh, coil as the actual wicking. Oh, uh, I doubt we'll ever see that again. Great idea, Mark. You can work on that with Fagan Industries. No. <laughs> well, Mike, mesh coils. Yeah. You know what, though? It's funny. Like, a year from now, mesh coils will be huge. Or mesh, mesh wicking will be huge. And Mark will say, I fucking told you so. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, baby. So this is a really nice mod. This thing's comfortable as shit. It is really Dude, nice. The though. packaging. Look you don't see the packaging for the flux. No, they they've been going all out. What's all for? This is not the packaging. It's like a lunch box. This is not the packaging. This? That's the packaging. Yeah. That's what I said. Wait till they see the packaging. Oh, I thought you were talking to us. I'm sorry. No, I forgot I'm that there was thousands to, of people I'm watching. To all the peeps out there. Oh. Wait till they see the packaging for it. The packaging is like extravagant for it. Mike talks directly to the Corona crew when he's on this show. Hell yeah, baby. Yeah. Look at Mark. Booyah. It is really nice packaging. Sometimes you surprise me, Mark. You're just on top of things. I surprise myself. What do you have, the blue? I got, they sent, I think, all the colors. Nice. Yeah, what's your favorite That's color? Red. 
Red. The red is nice. And this one here, this is that blue purple. This is the one that changes colors. Oh, uh, okay. Different angles. This is I love this color because I, I mentioned it on another mod. I think it was the one from Wismic, the new RX Dual 18650 one. Had the same color. And it reminded me of my old uh, beamer that I had. It had that same color. With the metallic flake. Yeah, that blue purple where it changed colors depending on the lighting. So yeah, I'm I'm really digging this one here, this color. The mod's awesome. <clears throat> I love it. Did you guys get got a mesh coils today from Geek Vape? Yes. What are they for? Are they're they for, for they're for you to fucking enjoy and love them because they're awesome. Are they new or are they just replacements? No, they gave Dude, you extra Mark. coils for the tank as a gift. <gasps> Did Didn't you... you read the message? He doesn't nope. read messages. I don't get There's a little letter inside saying that this is not for review, it's a gift. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what they also sent? They sent this. They sent this too. Yeah, the new bottles and yes. then they sent Yes. Look at that, right? Yeah, those are nice. Mm -hmm. This is a white one. Beautiful. Way better than the metal ones. Yep. Yep, yep. Uh, Mike, do you know if okay. Watofa is using a proprietary board in that? In this? In the, <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, in that. Are they using a proprietary board in that, in that bottle? There we go. Uh, proprietary. Well, I think it's their board. Yeah. I'm not sure. To tell you the truth, I don't know what they're using, where they're getting it. It's their chip. I don't know. I don't have that relationship with them. But uh, I like the chip because of its simplicity. I like this. I like this too. The LED right in the center, like that. That pulse yep. that it does. I fucking love it. Yeah. The up and down buttons love are them. stealthed in. And they're also easy, easy to access because yeah. it covers the whole angle right here. Yes, they're stealthed into the device, so you can't even. At first, when I got it, I was like, where the hell are the buttons on this? Here, I'm going to flip And I this. realized, oh, shit, it's part of that design. <clears throat> and the tank vapes fucking great. The mesh coil. Dude, the, I got fingerprints all over the place, and I got the green screen going. What the fuck? You're on top of your game, Brian. You're on top of your game, Mark. Oh, yeah. All right, why don't you give us a run through of the menu system? The screen's a lot brighter in person. It looks like Mike's screen looks brighter than yours. Because I have the lights off. Oh, watch this, Mark. Ah, Bobby, son of a bitch. Son I want of a do bitch. Look at that shit. But I love how these little things are the buttons. You can actually push like right here, and it still adjusts. It has a nice click. But on this side, it has the bars too, but they don't do shit. What's the deal with rig mod and this? That was such a weird collaboration. I never expected that. Yep. And someone said he got the new rig Rotofo mod. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. What? It's got rig's logo right there. Right there. At the bottom. It just seems like a weird collaboration because of the fact that it comes with a sub tank, right? Yeah. Well, you got to understand, too, that uh, Rig has uh, oh my God. Named, uh, China. They're together now. Dude, I've been vaping on this. What's that? Mark's going to interrupt you. And... No, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was going to say, Go Rig, ahead, Ronnie. Take it away, Ronnie. All, all, the majority <laughs> now of the Rig products, uh, regulator mods, tanks, stuff like that, are all made in China now. And they're collabing with different companies in China to make stuff. But uh, I, from what I hear is their mechs, though, are still made here in the States. Maybe the RDA, too. I'm not sure about the RDA. It's, it's just, <clears throat> and I'm not talking shit because it might be a really good idea from a business perspective, but I'm just going to give my opinion. When you have a brand that's associated with a specific type of vapor and a specific type of device, it just seems awfully fucking weird to take that brand and put it on a device and a product that's so different from what you've established. Now, maybe you're expanding the market that you're trying to achieve, but I just have a fear that it's going to impact the bread and butter products that built that name up to be reputable to begin with. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but that's just my feeling. No, they're expanding. They, they've got like two different, they got a brand, uh, Rig Worldwide, I think it's called. So basically what they're trying to say is that... Rig Worldwide. Uh, they're collabing with China. Hmm. Yeah. But it's pretty cool. I like the mod. 
I like this whole setup. The mesh coil vapes great. The airflow is awesome. I wonder if it's going to bring the price up since it's like a U.S. company and a Chinese company like collaborating together. I don't know. I will say, though, that if you look at this, the Proton is smaller. Will you hold these next to each other? Yep. Proton is fucking tiny. Yeah, the Proton's really, really small. Oh, yeah, that looks fucking awesome with this, with the Rift Core. Yep. It's got a nice look to it together, all blacked out. Dude, how about a day and a half battery life at 80 watts? Dude, yeah, this mod has Dude, been... Dude, I can't believe it. I've been loving this thing. It's really a nice mod, man. This is a really nice mod from uh, Coil Art. Coil Art. Uh, that's the Battlestar, right? Yeah, the only, the only thing that's a little strange is the getting the... Since this is really slippery, slippery, uh -huh. uh, getting this battery door off for me, there's no ledge or nothing. It seems like it's sort Stop of pressed. Stop biting your nails. I, mean, I cut my nails and I can't even get it off. No, my nails are trimmed short because I finger myself, Mike. Oh, okay. If you, I noticed when you put your fingers on each side of the door, you could just pull it off. You don't even need to use your nails. I know, but since I'm a sweaty because my wife doesn't let me turn the air conditioning on. Hey, that's the good thing, though, that the door is like that. By the way, your door is upside down, Mark. I'm honey, I'm honey glazed over here. But uh, I'd rather have the door like that tight and annoying to get off than having it wobble around and loose. But, dude, with 221 40Ts in that thing, it's ridiculous. Like, I'll literally be vaping it for a half a day, and the battery bars are still full. <laughs> it's like... This is definitely the one you want to, if you're going to like a vape event and you want to get power and also battery life because you're walking around, throw an RDA on there and you could drip test all the flavors and stuff like that and it's going to last you the whole show. Really good. But those 40T batteries are quite expensive, but I think they're worth it. Everyone should have at least two of them. They're like 16 bucks a piece, I think, if I'm not mistaken, which is, you know. Something like that. Or 18. 18. 16 or 18. 16 or 18 per. I got I bought, I have it here. I think these are it. I bought six of them. I just took the hit and I was like, fuck it. I'll do a one time oh, purchase. Actually, I got another pair of uh, 30 T's here. I think I only bought one pair <clears throat> of uh, 40 T's. Oh, no, wait. These are both 30 T's. Where are my 40 T's? They're somewhere here. Oh, maybe it's these? No. If you guys want to find out more about these batteries, you can head on over to vapecell.com, vapecelltech.com. Oh, I got them back there. Oops. All right, whatever. These are rewrapped 40 T's. Who is selling vapes? Please message me. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Some work. Give everybody the announcement. Let everybody know. Everybody's been wondering. There you go. I actually bought four of them, not two. I got four of these batteries. Nice. These. Yeah, those are probably my number one favorite regulated mod battery. If it's 21700. Does that, no... does that coil art come with the batteries? With no. Batteries? No. Because I remember they sent one time some 21700 batteries. They were garbage with their yeah. mod. I actually got to get these ready charged for that mod. Start using it too. Yep. There's no shortage of awesome products out there. I'll tell you that right now. Mark, do you want us to yep. like, you should get like a strobe light and fog, a fog machine in there. And you could just do fucking dances the whole show. I try to keep myself entertained when you guys are talking about batteries or, you know, advocacy. What's your favorite battery, Mark? Important things. Uh, whatever color I enjoy for that day. I go by colors. I don't go by battery types or but some of the brands have the same color as totally one's a safe battery and one's not what if you if i'm in a red mood i go red if i'm in a green mood i go green well that makes a lot of sense then i'm sure <laughs> no, battery no. mooch would definitely approve i use the vtc 5a's and everything and in 21 700s i use the purple ones and 2700s i use the gold or yellow ones <clears throat> there we go baby 40 t's amy's gonna be upset because i stole this before she could see it Oh, damn. Yeah, she's probably going to come get it, I'm sure. Yeah. Where's my hands? Holy shit, we go. man. Got them charging. Uh, What time is it now? 10.45? Yep. We're doing some giveaways? We do have a lot of giveaways to do tonight. 
Actually, I only have one. Geek Vape's in chat tonight, so I'd like to give a shout-out to Geek Vape. I'd also like to give a shout-out to all of our sponsors, Inikin, Hell Vape, Geek Vape, and Aspire. So thank you guys for making this show possible and uh, supporting us so we can give back to the community. Uh, we really appreciate it, so thank you. What are we giving away tonight from Geek Vape? From Geek Vape, we are giving away the beautiful, special, awesome performing, mark-approved, Amit mouth to lung RDA. I do approve on that one. There we go. The Amit mouth to lung RDA. So we're actually going to be picking a winner in chat. And uh, you know what? Let's do two giveaways for it. We're going to give away one in chat with X1s that have already started. And we're also going to give one to those that watch the replay. So we're going to have a comment in the replay. And there's going to be two comments tonight because we're going to do one for Hit That Juice that Michael announced in a little bit. And we're going to do another one for... Um, for Geek Vape. So for the Amit giveaway in the replay comment section, you're, you're gonna need to just type, I want that Amit, damn it. Down below. Down below in the comment section of the replay. I want that Amit, damn it. Okay. And then we're gonna pick that winner next week on the show. Mark's actually gonna pick it. He's building damn up it. intensity. Look at him, he's angry. Damn it. Uh, we just got a donation from Gregory Brown, I believe, and that was, you guys are cool motherfuckers. Brian's still loving my drop. So Damn it! Damn it, Gregory! Nothing makes me happy that when people tell me that. Don't you think, Mike, it's a good feeling? Yeah. Awesome. It's the fucking best feeling. Um, so, yeah, there we go. So that's that. Now, Mike actually has a huge announcement to make, thanks to Inakin. Yes. We will be giving away three Proton kits with the... Uh, oh, God, what's the uh, tank name again? The, the Scion, Scion 2. Scion 2 tank. So you'll get pr the Proton kit that comes with the tank and a five-pack of Plexus mesh coils with it also. Three winners we're going to have tonight. Protons, baby. Hell yeah. Compliments of Inigan. Thank you, Inokin. Remember what people used to call it, Inokin? Yep. No, I always called it Inokin. I think Phil used to call him Inokin. I think. I could be wrong, though. Well, even like Yeehee, I, I call him Yeehee. It's Yeehee. Is it Yeehee? It's Yeehee. I call it Yeehee. I don't give a fuck. Yeehee. And, and smoke is pronounced smoke, not smock. Smoke. It's smoke. For some reason, my disc is running at 98% right now. Here we go. That's right. Yeah. It's weird. I got like 90 programs running in the background. It says high CPU usage, too. Your whole taskbar is fucking loaded up with icons. It's weird, right? So, uh, Mark. Yes. I'm ready. When you're ready, you got to give me a number. Let's do the... We're going to do first what? We're going to give away the Geek Fate. The first. damn it, damn it. <clears throat> now, whoever wins this when Mark picks the winner, you need to contact me on the Vapor Chronicles on Facebook Messenger. Okay? You need to give me your name, your address, your telephone number, and your email address. Name, address, telephone number, email address. And we're going to ship anywhere in the world. So don't feel bad. No matter where you live, we're going to send it to you. Or Geek Vape's going to send it to you. So send me over. You also need to be of legal vaping age wherever you live at. And we'll take care of it for you. So I wish you the best. Don't forget, if you want to enter in the other giveaway, to go in the comment section and type, I want that Amit Dammit. So Mark, time is yours. Thanks for the uh, hand gestures or whatever the pick fuck number, you're doing. Brian. I'm going to pick number... 117. One, one, seven. Here we go. You fucking cross-eyed son of a bitch. You're the cross-eyed son of a bitch, actually. Here we go. Winner is... Hmm. I guess this is the name. Uh, auntie or auntie to everyone. A-U-N-T-I-E. T O everyone. Is that auntie to everyone? Yeah. There you go. Like, she's like family. Hey, everyone. She's that's like your mom's sister. And she's not really your mom's sister, but she acts like it to everyone. There you go. So auntie to everyone. Make sure you message Brian, the Vapor Chronicles. Yep. Facebook auntie. Messenger, the Vapor Chronicles. There you go. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Why don't you pick a winner for Mike when and Michael yes. tell everybody how to contact them? Protons. The winners for the protons. You're gonna email me, hit that juice at gmail.com, and only the winners email me. 
Do not email me for free, free stuff or questions on that email. That email is only for giveaways. If you have any questions or anything, you can email me on my other email. Yeah, hit that juice at gmail.com only for the giveaways. So email me there. Make sure you email me your – Mark, what the hell are you doing? I'm getting pumped uh, up. I'm ready. You're going to put in your name, address. I need your phone number and your email address. Put it all in one uh, – type it all out for me. This way I could copy and paste it and pass it off to Inigan. Yeah, buddy. Mark, are you a top or a bottom? I am a middle, actually. What you like to you like to, you like to get fucked and fucked at the same time? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the only way you could be a middle is if you're taking dick, bro. All right, we need numbers here. We're gonna do my age. Fifty-seven. Seventy-six. Oh, fifty-seven. Fifty-seven years old. I mean, fifty-seven. Number fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Yeah. All right, here we go. Winner number one. Mike's fifty-seven, and Mark likes fucking do- or chicks. Someone's gonna be happy. J. Jerry. J. Jerry. Go. J. Jerry, email me. Hit that juice at gmail.com. <laughs> J. Jerry. All right. Same uh, number gonna, or what? Uh, let's do now uh, my uh, fake age. 13. 37. 37. <laughs> That's the age you use to get pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Chris Rice. Sorry. Rice oh. as in rice. Chris Rice. Chris Rice? As in Krispies? Yep. Rice Krispies. There you go. Is it Rice Krispies or Chris no, Rice? it's Chris Rice. It's Rice Chris. All right, Chris Rice, you know what to do. Email me, hit that juice at gmail.com. There you go. Congratulations. And the next one uh, we'll use, uh, what what number should we pick? Uh, I would like to pick 55. Oh, there you go. 55. Here we go. Nobody. Let's go back. All right, I'm going to pick number 40 for my age. Cause number I'm who? Fuck. 40? No offense, ST. Here we go. Congratulations on Social Security, by the way. You really earned it. Oh, this one's uh, 19 Slummer. Slummer Rick. Uh, the fuck? Slum, Slummer Rican 871 S L U M E R I C A N 871. Looks like 19 Slummer Rican 87. All right. Slummer Rican, you know who you are. Email me, hit that juice at gmail.com. And all three winners, please, I want to see driver's license. I want to make sure that you are legit to vape. And if you don't drive, you can send over a photo of your bus pass. <laughs> we accept bus passes? I thought we stopped that. <laughs> oh, there he is. Yeah, 19 Slummer Rican 87 1, I guess. I wonder if he's Puerto Rican. Can I interrupt, Mike? What wattage is the best for these coils? Fifty-five. Fifty-five watts. Yep. I'm at fucking eight, seventy-five watts. No, I've been vaping. He told me fifty-five watts. He's What's like, the max they handle? I have no clue. I didn't even look at the coil. Right. I just been vaping at fifty-five. Seventy-five. It's nice and warm and flavorful. I'll pump it up. All right. How many more giveaways do we have? Uh, like that's do. it for our chat giveaways. Okay, so now we have to pick the comment section giveaway for the replay from last week. Yes. I just got uh, Edgewalker100 just gave $2. He said, hashtag bring back bulk. He might be visiting very short. Not Mark short. doesn't do that for free. $2. Uh, nice recommendation, but that's his good shirt. That's Mark's that good like shirt. <laughs> that's not a $2 shirt. Oh, yeah, this shit got better now. Even better. <laughs> I don't want it. 75 is good, right? All right, Mark, so go into the last week's show and pick a winner for Mike's HitThatJuice.com giveaway. If you want to get some Hit That Donut, Hit That Cookie, Hit That Juice, if you want to hit that shit with the best shit, check out HitThatJuice.com. Yeah, so we've got to go to last week's show, comment section. They had to say, uh, I want to hit that mic or something like that. You win a prize. There we go. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Two dollars only gets Mark to rip off his underpants because nobody wants to see that. Here we go. Mark smells like spam. Someone else. Spam? Does spam have an odor? I never really had spam. Uh, what, Mike? What's the best way to contact you with questions? Uh, promise of freedom. <laughs> no, no, that's my fucking email. <laughs> Fuck that. No, you want to? You want to? You want to message Vapen Fagan 
at gmail.com for any questions about the vape team or anything else. Uh, if you email me and your question is like a long paragraph, I'm not going to read okay, it. Okay, if you have a question about a build, like I need help with my build, Mark. Okay. Yeah, simple. There you go. It's better to just have a picture of you holding the build and going, and he'll respond yeah. right away. If it's uh, a long email <laughs> telling me about life and, you know, how your house caught on fire and you got 12 kids and I, I do. The majority of the emails I get are is that people begging for free stuff. Michael Barrett just donated $1.99 oh. and he said, do your part to save vaping. And you need to do your part to save vaping because everybody fucking matters. Everyone's voice matters and uh, there's power in numbers and we have a lot of numbers. So let's get out there and make our voices be heard. Yep. Let this bullshit lie campaign of propaganda stop. We're living proof. Our fucking lungs and our lives are living proof that vaping works and you can quit smoking. So live your, live it and also share about it. Yep. I'll just answer this... that guy's that person's question. If you want to message me with a question, message me on Mike Vapes Facebook. Mike Vapes Facebook. We just got a donation for $24.99 and it said it's from El Asel El Stad. Spit it out. Asael Stad. Asael Stad. A Sylstad, maybe? I don't know. A Sylstad. A Sylstad 86, 2499. He said, bulk, 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 hashtag fund the suit. And I believe they stopped <laughs> accepting funding the suit. He's doing that. What's his name from the Jeffersons? Yep. <sighs> what was his name again? Tom? He's doing the Tom dance. Was his name Tom? Oh, man. Can I do this giveaway so we don't forget it? Yes, yes. do it, please. Here we go, folks. I forgot what they had to say, but I'm going to read it first to make sure they said it. The winner is Ron33. Ron as in Ron Jeremy, 33 as in 33. There you go. Ron33. Email me, hit that juice at gmail.com. Same thing. I want all your information, address, all that, driver's license. <laughs> I want to know what nick level you vape. Yes. Also, the three liquids that you want from Hit That Juice, from the Hit That Line, the Hit That Line, the three liquids you would like. And you have to be a U.S. resident for that. So, I think if Mark put Rogaine all over his body, he'd kind of look like a modern day Rod Jeremy. Wouldn't he? He's like a, he'd be a hairy, sweaty fuck. The hell is he doing? <sighs> I'm hung like Ron, though. No, you're not. Laying out on the couch. Yeah. Hell yeah, we got a coupon code all week for hitthatjuice.com. It's all week 15. It's in the chat. All week 15 in capitals. 15% off. Wow. Amy, if you're watching the show, order me some Boston cream. Uh, Nicholas Thompson just gave four ninety nine. He said, you guys should make your atomizers in yellow. Nobody has yellow atomizers. Yellow. Hmm. Uh-huh. It is a color I've never seen before. Dude, I don't want them to make a new season of the Jeffersons because, well, first of all, the, the main dude, what was his name, Hemsley or whatever? He's dead, yeah. I think. Yeah. But I'm tired of, like, my favorite shows. All of a sudden, the, the person that, that I loved fucks up and says something completely ridiculous or rapes somebody or whatever. I'm tired of it, man. Are you talking about Bill Cosby? I'm talking about everything. I'm talking about the bullshit that comes out of pe stupid-ass people's mouths that have it really good. And they, they have a legacy, and they need to just shut the fuck up and do what they're skilled at, which is making people entertain instead of getting involved in fucking politics. They should do a, like a remake of All in the Family and have a Mark be Archie Bunker. Yo, he could fill in that role so easily. Uh-huh. Dude, I'm on that. Ugh. Could you imagine them giving him the script to read? It would have to be pictures. <laughs> Hold on. It's time Woo! to Dude, your tits are looking full. What is the best non-high-end RDA of all time? That's a question for all three of us. The best RDA that's not high-end of all time. Oh, fuck, that's too Mark? Ooh, I don't want to control my nipples. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> the drop is pretty close, but... I'm not sure. I'd Black have to tape that, that shit. When you say the drop is pretty close, what is it pretty close to? I don't know. So it's the drop. I guess. It's the RDA that I've used the longest. Mm. Next to the ghost, when I used to use that every day. 
for me, it has to be that uh, this RDA right here. The Fagan Industries RDA. <laughs> Not what's that is. Uh, I have to say the drop too. Not the drop version two. Drop. Yeah, I don't even think there's going to be a drop version two. I'll be honest. There might be. I don't know. If I can come up with something better, I'll be honest. I have five version two drops that I've been testing, and I just can't do better than the original drop. So I'm That's, not going to. Put I have something. the. I have that one there, and it's like I have. That's what I said to you. It's like. And I'm not going to sell out just because the name is good and people have bought so many of them. Um, if I release a version two, it's going to be better, or it's never coming out. So. I do yeah. like that airflow. You know which one I like. Yeah, baby. Looks fucking sweet. Looks sweet and vape sweet because something that looks good can actually be hated. It has to vape good first, in my opinion. So, Mark, what the fuck are you doing? Trying to cover up my saggy tits. There we go. What are you covering the sag lines? Yeah. Do you know those lines underneath the sag are permanent once you get older? Are they? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yep. I'm fucked. You look good though. Thank you. I you feel look like, good. You look like an S and M fucking warlord. Like you're into. Dominance or being dominated, you should get a ball gag. That's oh. a sexy combo, Mike. I need to get one. Speaking of that, when things are released, when is the recurve 22 millimeter coming out? The cap for it? No, no date yet. No date yet. All right. Uh, Kevin Doms just gave two dollars. He said, "Mark, do the truffle shuffle." Uh, what well, truffle didn't know what they were getting themselves into with the recurve? They bit off more than they could chew. Nope. Well, that's a good thing. Trying to keep up, yeah. We'll see. I have talked to uh, Geek Vape a little bit about coming out with like a redesigned, like a, a, sort of a drop 1.5. I know some people hate that, but if something's so good and everyone loves it, why not just make little tiny corrections and come out with some new colors, make it look a little bit better, add some new stuff to it? I think I might do that instead. Yeah. I think that's a smart decision. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Mark. So, anything else for the people? You want to do a little truffle shuffle or something, or no? We're gonna just end it. I'm kind of scared because this is a gorilla tape. And oh, let's just... remove the tape on the show live. Oh god, I didn't stick it that hard. I don't think. To Can I get all. a do 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 action? Oh, that wasn't on there hard. Thank God. How could it be hard? You're fucking all sweaty, probably. <laughs> could you it? imagine if his silver dollar pink just came off with the tape? Dude, this is gonna hurt. Here we go. I think his nipple skin's really One, thin. Two. He's got that albino three. nipple. Oh! oh my god, that's like, screenshots. Ah! Over here, we got some nice pictures. Holy fuck, my nipples are dark and red now. I think one's bleeding. <sighs> we gotta get breast pumps for him. Dude, they're getting like they're getting saggier. You're getting older. Your skin's starting to get loose and losing its elasticity, Mark. Before Wait. long, your tits are gonna be on your knees. I know. Hold on, I think I gotta, I gotta fix for this. You gonna pull them toward the middle? Yeah. Or you gotta tape? You, you know, tape your titties to your back. Well, you guys, every week we show something new, and every week we bring the greatest entertainment in the oh. vape game. God. This show is often emulated but never replicated. Yeah, it's the fucking base game. Where else do you get content yeah. like this? Oh Jesus, that looks like it hurt. Ah. <laughs> oh my god you are a fucking character <sighs> alright guys get out your Vaseline it's time to take care of business if anyone wants to finish we'll give you time Mark make some pouty lip moves uh, Reyes you saw my facial expressions huh? <laughs> oh Mark all right, everybody. Well, check this out. So on Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern, the Vape and Bogan and <coughs> myself are going to be on Inside the Minds with Jay Hayes. So check that out on Saturday morning. Also, right. not another vape show this Sunday, right? I believe it's going back to Sunday because everybody wants it on <coughs> wants it on Sunday. There you go. So Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if anybody wants to pick up one of those camouflage hats that Mark makes uh, or wears, where can they get them, Mark? Uh, you can pick these Walmart. up at Lids. 
L-I-D-S in the mall. Usually they have a buy one, get one 50% off sale. Thank nice. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank us. Thank everyone. Thank you, everyone. Mark is a bisexual hobo. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> All right, so we're back to Sunday with not another vape show this week. And that's it, everybody. So thanks for watching. Yeah, we'll see you next week. The vape team, we're done. Another Thursday bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Bye. Ah. And another one. And another one bites the dust. Eleven AM Jay Hayes channel. Eastern time. Eastern. I'm gonna put links in all the social media guys, so join us eleven AM. Okay. Thank you. And another one, and another one, and another one bust the dust. Dress like a lady! Lady! My nipples are burning. Woohoo! Burning, burning. More a puppetinian clay in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Sit in balls and suckle on Granny's titties. <laughs> I've got titties, so have some. Mmm, delicious.